We are trying to bring the benefits of the startups, of uh, the self-organized uh, organizations uh, to large uh, companies in which we assume that there's a huge potential of uh, really talented, motivated people, but they're just wrongly connected. Uh, I mean... I think it's all about the, the way we are connected because those connections uh, represent the culture and the potential of uh, of uh, the organizations. And um, I don't know if I mentioned it on the other conversation we had, but I consider myself a biomimic. Biomimicry is this discipline in which you look for um, models of efficiency in nature, okay, considering nature has probably uh, gone through uh, or struggled with the problems that we are facing, and uh, let them be in terms of a. Uh, uh, shape or aerodynamics or in terms of uh, chemical processes or in terms of organizations. And the idea is that organizations in nature have been facing the problems and the benefits of complexity for over uh, 3.8 billion years. So uh, what can we learn from uh, the species in nature uh, facing complexity? Uh, what can we learn from uh, swarms and flocks and what can we uh, learn from the, the, the social insects? Uh, what can we learn from the, the mouth and, and how they optimize, uh, um, they end up optimizing the connectivity or the connections between the points? So, uh, what can we learn from birds? My bet, and many others obviously, is that uh, if we are able to synthesize the principles of this complexity, uh, of these uh, behaviors and the complexity and apply them directly uh, to the organizations, we're going to be uh, much better off. Our specific bet, uh, differentiating it to any other bet that we've seen so far, is that the, those principles for self-organization in organizations or, or companies should be completely subjective. That is, who do you want to work with? What is it that you value? What are your interests? What are your motivations? Um, so we are trying to create a, a tool, uh, because it's not a methodology, a tool for these subjectivities to emerge and to allow people to get connected uh, with each other independently from hierarchies or routines or processes uh, based on those emotions. Like to be able to create a, um, some kind of swarming behavior uh, that would be uh, related to uh, people's subjectivity and hence related or uh, empowering in terms of motivation, etc. So I think that is going to be a very interesting direction. Assuming the organization not as a closed... Uh, fixed reality, but just as a swarming reality with a completely permeable uh, limit. And this uh, logic, I think, applies both at the, at the freelance uh, agents, at the micro uh, companies, at the free uh, individuals and professionals, but also at the other uh, edge, at the concentrating uh, companies and, and huge organizations.